sketch the graph of the following equation. So the equation is 4x squared plus 25y squared plus 8x minus 150 plus 129 is equal to 0. So now, before we sketch, we need to determine the type of the equation. So the method that we're going to use is completing uh, the square method. So I'm going to write the first step like this, 4x squared uh, my 4x squared plus 8x, I'll leave a gap here, plus 25y squared minus 150y. And again, I'm leaving a gap here is equal to minus 129. So this is this and this are the same. The only thing is I've, take, I've taken away 129 from both sides. So now, in this group, I want to factor out this 4. I, I want a leading coefficient of only 1 here. So if you factor out the 4 here, if you factor out the 4, you'll have x squared plus 2x, and I'm keeping a gap here, plus I can factor out 25 here. So this is 25 times y squared minus 6y. Again, leave a gap is equal to minus 129. Now, completing square uh, is basically you take the half of this coefficient, that is x, the half of 2, which is 1, and then square it. So that's 1. And then here the same thing, half of negative 6 is negative 3, and square it, which is 9. Okay. So if you think about it, this you have added, so this is, if you expand this, this is 4x squared plus 8x plus 4. So I should write 4 here. Now, if you write a 4 here, you'd write a 4 here. And here, 25 times 9 is 225, so I have to write 225 here. So if I write 225 here, I'd write 225 here. 225 here. So this becomes 225 plus 4 is 229. Okay, so this is a neat way of doing it. So leave a gap, and then it becomes, this is a perfect square, and this is also a square. So this is 4 times x plus 1, the whole squared, plus 25 times y minus 3, the whole squared, is equal to, this is 100. Now I want to get a 1 here, so I'm going to divide the whole thing by 100. So I'm going to divide this by 100. I'm going to divide this by 100. So I'd also divide this by 100. So now this form will be familiar. So this is x plus 1, the whole squared. 4 over 100, if you're dividing both by 4, this is over 25, plus y minus 3, the whole squared, over, dividing both by 25, you get here 4, is equal to 1. So this is similar to the equation of the ellipse. So let me write the equation of the ellipse. The equation of the ellipse is centered at 0, 0 is x squared over a squared plus y squared over b squared is equal to 1. Yeah, it's centered at 0, 0. This is the equation of an ellipse centered at 0, 0. So now it is very easy to determine the center of this ellipse. So this is a transformed ellipse. Uh, the center has transformed. So the main thing is, the first thing that we have to find is what's the center. So well, the first, first thing is center. So center is, you, you can write this, the center. This is x take away negative 1. So the center is minus 1, comma 3. The center is minus 1, comma 3. So this is the most important thing. So the center is 1, comma 3. Okay, so the next thing that you need to find is the major radius. So can you, we can see here a squared is equal to 25, which implies a is equal to plus or minus 5. Okay, and uh, so we can say b squared is 4, b squared is 4, which implies b is equal to plus or minus 4. 
plus or minus 2, sorry. Okay, so here yeah, from this you can determine the four vertices. So the third thing, we are going to determine the vertex or the vertices. I'll graph this later on. So the four vertex, so the vertices are, uh, are going to means from the center, you have to go five to the right and five to the left. So the vertices would be minus one from minus from the center you go you're going horizontally five to the right and five to the left. So it'll be minus one plus or minus five comma three. And from you're going vertically two up or down. So this will be minus one comma three plus or minus two. So this implies so this implies the vertex, if you go minus 1 plus 5, minus 1 plus 5 will give you 4 comma 3. And if you go minus 1 minus 5, which is minus 6 comma 3. So these are the two vertex going horizontally. From this, you can write two vertex. This is minus 1 and 3 plus 2 is, 3 plus 2 is 5. Uh, 3 plus 2 is 5 and 3 minus 2 is 1. So this will give you minus 1 comma 1. So these are the four vertex minus 1 comma 1. Okay, so these are the four vertices. Now we need to find out uh, what's the fo focus. So C squared is A squared minus B squared. We know a squared is 25, so which is 25 minus 4, which is 21, which implies c is plus or minus 21, plus or minus square root of 21. Okay, so your focus is always on the major axis, so your focus of four psi is always on the major axis, so your center is. Your center is minus 1, 3, so your focus would be minus 1 plus or minus, minus 1 plus or minus root 21, comma 3. When I draw this, this will make more sense. So this implies your F1, F1 would be minus 1 plus root 21, comma 3, and your F2 is minus 1, minus 1, minus root 21, comma 3. So this is equal to minus 1 plus root 21. Uh, let's do this on a calculator. Uh, which is menu run minus 1 plus root 21 gives you 3. 3.6 3.63 so I'll write this 3.6 rounding in 3 uh, in 1 DP minus 3.6 uh, what did they get uh, plus 3.6 okay and uh, the center is minus 1 yeah and minus 1 minus root 21 okay so let's leave this so let us so this is 3.6 comma 3 and minus 1 oops minus 1 minus root 21 would give me minus 5.6 so so this is 3.6 3.6 comma 3.6 let me write this properly so this is this would be 3.6 comma 3 and this would be minus 5.6 comma 3 okay so these are the two focus now we need to determine the x intercept do we have x intercept so x intercept is when y is equal to 0 I want to do this algebraically and then I'll show you graphically. Your x-intercept when 
you get when y is equal to 0. So let us put that in the equation. So the equation is x plus 1 squared. So let us write the equation. x plus 1 the whole squared over 25 plus y minus 3 the whole squared over 4 is equal to 1. So this is the equation of the ellipse. So if you put your y is equal to 0, yeah, when you put y is equal to 0, I will get x plus 1 the whole squared over 25. This would become plus 9 over 4 is equal to 4 over 4. 1 I'm going to write 4 over 4. So this implies I can say x plus 1 the whole squared over 25. So if you take away 9 over 4, you get minus 5 over 4. Now you have to stop and think. So again, so if you multiply 25 to both sides, I can say x plus 1 the whole squared is equal to 1, 25 times 5 is minus 125 over 4. Okay, now this implies x squared is a negative number. Now if you, whatever value of x you take and you add 1, and then you square it, it's never going to be negative. Okay, and here we are saying square of something is negative, which is not possible. This is mathematically not possible because you can't get a square number which is negative in real numbers, which implies there are no x intercept. There are no x intercepts. Okay, and for the y intercept, finally, for y intercept, you have to set x is equal to 0. You have to set x is equal to 0. And if you set x is equal to 0, you get two answers. I'm, I, I've already worked this out. So the y intercept is 4.90. We need to write it in coordinates. So this will be 0, comma 4.96. And you can do that yourself and 0 comma 1.04. Okay, so let's graph this. So all I've written all the values here. So first decide the center. The this center is minus 1 comma 3. This is minus 1 comma this is 1, 2, 3. So this is your center. Okay, the next thing that you have to decide uh, uh, the vertex, the vertices are 4 comma 3, so this is 4 comma 3. This is minus 6 comma 3. Then you have got minus 1 comma 5. So you're going 2 up, from here you're going 2 up and 2 down. It's very simple, if you go 2 up and you go 2 down. From here you go 5 to the right, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And you go 5 to the left, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And from the center, you're going root 21 to the left and right. So if you go root 21, which is, uh, so let's see the focus. Your yeah, focus is from minus, from minus 1, that is minus 1, comma 3, you're going 21 to the right, root 21 to the right, and root 21 to the left. So if you go root 21 to the right, you get this is 5. And 5.6, so let me use a different color for focus. This is roughly here. So this is your focus, say this is your F1. And if you go root 21 to the left, you get minus 3.6. So this is minus 3. Uh, uh, minus. Okay, this is. Doesn't. This is minus 5.6. Yeah, I think I made a mistake here. 5.6. Okay, so this doesn't make sense. So let me check that. If you go minus 1 plus shift root 21, you get 3.6. Yeah, this is, this should be plus 3.6. Plus 3.6 here. So this is three. Uh, this is three and three point six here. Yeah, it was it was right here. Yeah? So three point six here. 
and minus one, minus one, min, sorry, minus one, take away shift root 21, would give you minus 5.6, yeah, that was right. Minus, oh yeah, this is minus 5.6, so this should be minus 5.6, yeah. Okay, so this is minus 5, so you go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, so this is minus 5.6 here. This is minus 5.6, so this is your one focus, which is the F1, and I'm saying this is my F2, very difficult to plot, but it's uh, graphically impossible to graph it manually okay and your you don't have an x intercept so let me draw the graph so the graph would go from there's only a sketch is enough and then you draw the other part okay so this is good enough and here you can see the y it doesn't have an x intercept the y intercept this is 0 0.96 does make sense this is 0 0.96 and this is 1.04, okay? And so this is the sketching of this graph.